I actually got involved in beekeeping um, unintentionally. I had my first lot and had started a g small garden and for the first couple of growing seasons I saw no more than six honeybees in the garden total and so I was trying to figure out a way to get more honeybees in the area so that I could get better pollination on my plants and I looked on Craigslist and found some of these guys that do bee removals sent a couple emails out and got no response uh, about a month later and talking to somebody who talked to somebody else they said well these guys have bees not too far from you so I went over and talked with them and a couple weeks later I ended up with my first start of bees I was, so I went from looking for someone to put bees on the garden and all I wanted was the pollination to where I actually end up becoming a beekeeper just by um, demand, mm. so to say. Kind of like when somebody walks home with the cute puppy and says, here you go. And so as a result, um, I've grown in love with the ladies and <laughs> I mean, it's to the extent that when we evacuated with Isaac, I loaded the one hive of bees I had at that time in my truck and took them to Indiana with me. They stayed there for about five weeks while I did some other traveling and other business I had. Then we brought them back. And, you know, it was one of those where I just knew that I had to keep them and then expand them. And so. Personally, I got us up to two hives, and then the feast grant got us up to five hives, and since then, I've applied and been awarded a $1,000 grant from the Church of the Brethren Global Food Crisis Fund, which yeah. took us up to now 10 hives. My goal has become now to double that to where we can actually sell enough honey to help provide some financial relief to my nonprofit to continue to give away the food that we grow for people in the food desert. How many garden plots do we have? We have gone from where we had one last year and now um, with winning the Pitchnola Lots of Progress we have a 30 tree fruit and citrus orchard that takes up two lots. I've got five year leases with Habitat for Humanity on three other lots. Um, I just went into a partnership usage agreement with Lower9.org to start working the former Lamont Street farm, which is actually a half acre. It entails eight lots, and in talking to the owner, I found out there's also another three lots attached to that mm. that we'll be gaining use of. Um, I'm talking to three other people at this time also to see about making use of those lots. So we're somewhere between 15 and 20 lots that at one point in time were blighted or vacant that we've now put into some type of productive use for the community. So since I should have some more honey by the time you guys see this video, if you'd like to make a donation towards Capstone and receive some honey. Our suggested donation is $10 for a pint jar like this. And that's gonna go to help us continue what we're doing here in the Lower Ninth Ward. And you can get in touch with me, probably the best way would be by email, which would be capstone118 at gmail Dot com and just tell me you're interested and we'll make arrangements or I'll have to tell you we actually sold out of seven and a half gallons of honey in two weeks in July so if you wait too long and we're out we'll make sure we get you on our waiting list for the next harvest